Kershaw County schools are preparing for students, teachers, and staff to return for spring semester on Wednesday. Superintendent Shane Robbins tells News 19 they're preparing to welcome everyone back as safely as possible as COVID cases continue to soar across the state. We are actually doing an extra um, sanitation walk through, you know, before the students return. To the district says it is following the CDC's new quarantine guidelines if anyone has been exposed. Superintendent Robbins explains that will depend on if a student exposed is wearing a mask or vaccinated. And right now, both are optional. Personally, do agree that kids should. Um, have the option of where they want to wear a mask or not. Robin says there are protocols in place if students or faculty members test positive for COVID-19. We are very fluent in the use of um, our virtual technology to make sure students have access. Our teachers uh, use Canvas and um, they record their, their lessons. Uh, students can access the lessons. and The schools have also been upgraded with other safety measures. We, we added um, the UV um, lighting systems on our school buses that is 99.9% .9 effective in killing uh, the COVID-19 virus and, and several other viruses. We, we did purchase um, some air purifiers for our band and choir rooms because, you know, they when they play an instrument or when they're singing, there's that chance for you know, uh, particles to be, you know, spit out into the air. First Street Squad in Kershaw County, I'm Walker Lawson. Meanwhile, the Kershaw County School District reports 33 active cases among students, 19 among staff members. 115 students remain under quarantine with half of those at Jackson Elementary School. Calhoun County tonight counting nine total positive cases. Uh, three schools, 35 students, are, uh, staff are under quarantine. Lexington District 1 also sharing updated numbers. As of yesterday, the district had 180 active positive student cases, 360 under quarantine. Among staff, there are 102 cases and 58 quarantine.